So as Lauren just mentioned, there are two qualities to the central nervous system that influence introversion and extroversion. And these two qualities are cortical arousal levels and sensory threshold levels. For example, by cortical arousal, we mean how much the brain is active at rest. And some people, while at rest, not being stimulated, their brain is really quite active. And coupled with that often is a low sensory threshold, meaning for these people, it doesn't take much stimulation to arouse them. And we call these people who have this pattern introverts. And introverts are often regulating their behavior in order to optimize their arousal level. So they withdraw from people they don't know. They tend to avoid real sensory experiences like parachuting and roller coaster rides and jumping off cliffs into water. So on the other hand, we see the opposite pattern in extroverts. And in extroverts, we have low cortical arousal and high sensory threshold meaning that at rest, the brain activity of extroverts is relatively low in activity. And coupled with that is a high sensory threshold, meaning it takes more stimulation to arouse extroverts. So they regulate their behavior and arousal levels by seeking out stimulation. They really want to be around people, around noisy environments, do thrill-seeking and risky kinds of things like parachuting and roller coaster riding and jumping off cliffs. So you may or may not have noticed that in fact we filmed these two different scenes talking about introversion and extroversion in different environments. So when we were talking about in introverts, we were in a white background room. And now we're in a room with more colors and there's more going on. This was not a coincidence because as it turns out, introverts tend to feel more comfortable in, in rooms and environments where there's less going on, and extroverts tend to feel more comfortable in rooms and environments where there's more going on.